Chelsea may be the hardest hit community in the state. In Chelsea, at least 541 confirmed cases. But city officials believe the real number is much higher and the state is stepping in now. WBZ's Anaritis Rodriguez has the latest. During the next two weeks, at least, please stay home all day, every day. Continued warnings in Chelsea as the cluster of cases keeps rising. Our people are suffering. They're out of work. They have no money. They're in need of basic food and supplies. And so there's a lot of need here in the city of Chelsea and a lot of sickness. With 541 confirmed coronavirus patients and 19 deaths, Chelsea has the highest rate of infection in the Commonwealth. Over the weekend, dozens of cases were linked to this Chelsea nursing home. The situation is so dire, the state is stepping in to help. We have now increased testing capacity fourfold in the Chelsea area. All residents with symptoms are being urged to make appointments and get tested. MGH Chelsea Director, Dr. Dean Xeris. Our volume last week was generally 60 to 90 patients on a day. Yesterday we saw double that. We saw 140 patients and we already have that many patients scheduled today. And now that we'll be testing more patients in Chelsea, we're going to see those numbers go up too. But I think testing certainly will help to control the disease as well. MEMA is helping rent out a nearby hotel to isolate patients. Who are COVID-19 positive and are unable to isolate in crowded apartment units would have a place to go. Also increasing is the supply of medical kits and food. The National Guard tapped in to distribute an estimated 26,000 meals per week. We have a mask and two gloves. The response is sure to give a break to the dedicated volunteers working daily with the needy. So I think we all fight. And hoping the critical resources stem the spread. I'm Anna Rodriguez, WBZ News.